Veterans Day. So I wanted to say thank you to all of those who serve and protect to keep our country safe. So myself, my family, and my daughter can be safe. Well, a lot of people don't think that the world is safe right now, but they don't realize how safe it is compared to a lot of other countries. So I wanted to say thank you for everything you do. You know, living with a Marine and having a baby with a Marine is a tough enough job as it is that you guys do. Right now, I am just here with little Kenley. She is chewing on some butt paste and I am going to be filling up some wipes. This is Kenley at all. She's not crawling, so she's not crawling yet, but she is in fact about to. She kind of puts one leg in front of the other and does this like motion like this, like she's like eh, like she's trying to, but she can't really get it that good. So I'm going to place my camera down for a second. But I want to tell you guys, it's been so long since I talked to you and the reason for that is because it's been like my videos have been like every five days and I've just been going through a kind of rough patch, you know, in life and I'm just trying to push myself as completely positive as possible. But, you know, there's just times in your life, you know, where you just, you got to focus on other things and I just, Kenley was sick, I was sick, we got out of it and then, you know, I was work, I'm working, still I'm working every day, but the past two weeks I've been taking more shifts than normal, so I basically am working every single day, sometimes longer than others, sometimes I'm working 10 hour shifts, so it really has been stinking and I'm just tired and exhausted when I get home and just, you know, you guys know how it is, we're all humans here, so please... <laughs> Trying to understand how it is and you know I'm trying to keep you guys happy because we love you guys and we love filming for you guys and sharing our lives with you and I feel so out of the loop I could say I guess lately because I haven't been able to post and stuff like that so I definitely do feel out of the loop but hopefully I'm going to get back in it. Today is going to be Kenley's eight month update and as you guys normally see my updates are in my bedroom and I'm sitting on a chair. But since I have so much to do today, but I do want to film, it's going to be upstairs while and downstairs while I'm cleaning and moving around. So I hope you guys don't mind, but the video isn't going to be like it normally is. Because I literally have so much things to do and Kelly and I are going to be going to the mall. It's okay. We're going to be going to the mall because I need to get a dress and I'm going to put you guys down somewhere where you can see me good. She is so freaking cute. I can't. Okay, I don't know how you guys are going to see me. I'm using for a tower right now. It's actually two white cases and an UGG container. So, as I was saying, sorry guys, I'm just so like, this has been me 24-7, like on the watch, fast paced, you know, not breathing type of person. So, let's keep you updated. So, Marine Corps birthday was actually yesterday. It was their 240th birthday. So, happy belated to all my YouTube friends who are in the military or military wives. Saturday we have the Marine Corps ball and I am wearing this white gown which I will show you guys in footage that I get from the ball that I will upload for you guys this weekend and I'm so excited because that's going to be a fun video. From there we go, we're going to be taking a bus into Boston and I have to go to Macy's or Lord & Taylor or somewhere that's going to give me a nice dress that I can wear afterwards because I already have my dress picked out for the ball which it's kind of, it's like very elegant so it's like a gown but mine's not like huge and puffy it's white and you guys will see it I don't want to spoil it I want to show you guys pictures so me and Kelly are gonna go to the mall we gotta get a dress for to go out in after probably like a short dress not wicked short but not obviously a long dress and then I'm gonna be getting some oh. shoes that are gonna be for my gown oh. and my dress so definitely like some nice cute shoes i like like heels that go over your ankle i don't know why i've always loved like the cuffed heels but yeah so we're gonna go shopping and right now i'm just trying to get things cleaned up and her room's a mess and my room's a mess and the living room's a mess oh i just hit my tooth and it's all a mess so i'm gonna be trying to you know update you guys on her eight month update as i'm walking around the house how convenient is that you may hate this video you may love it i don't know but you know this is how it has to be Okay guys, listen how bad this is. So I went to Babies R Us and bought Kenley her first Christmas present for this year and I ended up damn opening it and giving it to her because I couldn't wait. 
Maybe you guys have seen it on TV, but it lights up to like where you touch. I think Jason shut it off. I don't even know where the button is. Turn it on. Let's see. So this thing like lights up. It's like touch sensitive. So wherever you touch, like it lights up like different colors. And it has like so many different songs. And there's that little ball thing and this type of stuff. Kenley loves it. It's pretty cool. I think it was like 60 bucks, but she loves it. So I'm gonna try to keep her entertained by that, which probably won't work because lately, the past two weeks, which has been even harder for me to do anything, Kenley has been crying every time I leave a room. Like, if I left for two seconds, if I just walk around the corner and she can't see me, she cries. So that's a new thing that she does that you guys are not used to and neither am I. So I've been not able to do a lot of things because of that. And it restricts me from being able to film because when I need to do something in a different room, she cries. Like, look at her, she's looking at me right now. <laughs> she has to be watching every little thing I'm doing. If you guys are wondering like what shirt I'm wearing, it's um, a Veterans Day um, bar crawl. It's pretty cool. It has the shamrock with the gun in it. It's a nice shirt. I wore it today at work in honor of Veterans Day. And Lee, while I talk about her update. So for eight months... <laughs> oh, crap. So for eight months, little Kenley is still in size three diapers. She is <laughs> all up to date on vaccines. She is healthy as a bee. She is literally so talkative, so funny. Has like the funniest little personality ever. Definitely her teeth have been growing out so much more than they have before. She's definitely more aware of things around her. As I said before, when I leave a room now, she's crying. She's very, very funny and things she does. She actually can play pass the ball to me. I'll show you guys. Pass it to mama. Good girl. Here. <laughs> pass it to mama. Can mama have it? Do it to mommy. Do it to mama. <laughs> Isn't that so funny? Oh my god. Yeah, so she's very active. She is not crawling yet Which is kind of sad, but not sad too because I'm not prepared for that like hold off Please because we need to baby proof a lot in the house We have the baby proof kits, but we need the gates definitely and this is a concern see how the fireplace First of all, the brick is very concerning to me, like smashing her head or something off of that, I would scream. And then the fireplace is no protection because they can literally touch it. It's a pellet stove, so that glass is literally burning hot. So we're gonna have to get a giant gate or two of them to cover that entire area because she's not, there's no way I'm gonna let her that area. It's just, it's very unsafe and it gives me anxiety. But yeah, she's gonna have, we're gonna have to baby proof a ton of stuff, like the corners on the tables, just like everything, because she will be into everything. I know she will be, guaranteed. She's into everything and she's not even moving yet, so. But she's not crawling, but if you put something enough out of her reach that she wants it, she will reach for it and then she'll move her leg. She'll move her leg like underneath, like this. And this leg will eventually pop out and then she's on her stomach and she reaches for it. So she definitely is aware of how to get things now, but I'm just wanting her to crawl in a way because it's so cute, but then I'm like, then I won't be able to do anything. I think it's gonna be the type of thing where I'm like washing the dishes and then I turn and look in here to peek on her and she's gonna be like across the room. I'm gonna laugh so hard, I can tell right now. But we definitely need to get gates because anytime soon she'll be into that fireplace. And what scares me is she's been staring at it a lot. Like when she's in her bouncer, she'll sit there and stare at it and cause she's interested cause the fire is like bright and I definitely think she wants to touch it. My heart would be broken if she ever touched that glass because no, it would be very bad. So Kenley is eating like a little piggy. That's like steak. Okay, lately Kenley's been doing this and I'm like dying laughing. She covers her head with a blanket and then pulls it off.
It's so cute. Put the blanket on. <coughs> you can do it. Big girl. <gasps> Peekaboo! She's gonna get mad. <laughs> hey! Hey, you can do it! Big girl! Yay! <laughs> That's another thing, she dances at everything. Like anything that has to do with music, she'll dance. Even when I sing to her, which I sing a select few songs, but I'd say the song that she loves the most is, You are my sunshine, my only sunshine. You make me happy when skies are gray. You'll never know, dear, how much I love you. So please don't take <laughs> Sunshine. <laughs> She's dancing. But yeah, I'm saying that to her since she's a newborn. So I feel like she just knows what it is when I start singing it to her. But yeah, so she definitely is a big music lover. Anything to do with music. She loves Frank Sinatra. She loves any per any music that you put on. Leaning towards the 12 months. Because everything that I wash and dry that's nine months just shrinks to like three months. So I've had to put it on like tumble dry and it just does not dry good enough. So more dry is always what I do because it dries the quickest and I'm usually doing her laundry on Sundays at like 10 at night because that's the only time I can do that. Pretty much all of Kenley's update, really honestly, she is just, ugh, I can't believe she's eight months. Like, can you guys believe that? Do you remember when she was like one month and could barely move around? She just like kept looking everywhere and she was so tiny and now she's a big girl sitting up on her own starting to learn and use her mind and her motor skills. I just can't believe how much she's grown. Big girl. She's still on six ounce bottles and she doesn't eat them a lot because she does, but she doesn't because we have human food introduced. So usually she'll have around four bottles a day, maybe less sometimes, but before bed usually she'll have um, a six ounce bottle and then she'll wake up around like 4.30 for another bottle and then she'll wake up fully around eight. So she'll <laughs> she will fully wake up around eight o'clock but i get up for work around seven and lately she's been waking up at seven and jason gets so sad because he's just so tired and he has to get up with her while i leave for work i haven't talked to you in a while about my freaking new camera so i'm not using it right now sadly i know I got the um, Canon Rebel T3i, the camera that like most of the big YouTubers have, like pretty much all of them use it. There's no um, Rebel out, but I didn't want to get that one. I wanted to get the T3i. I was I got it at a base, and honestly, it was a sick camera. But like all of a sudden, for no reason, I didn't even get to film with it. I was just playing around with it. When I went to go put it on movie, the viewfinder wouldn't work. And every time, there's like a button you can click to make the viewfinder turn on, but it wasn't working. So it and mailed it to Canon and they're gonna fix it and then mail it back to us within a week. So right now I'm using our old camera. I a vlog today too, but I'm not gonna post it today. I will post this video tonight on Veterans Day. So if it's not Veterans Day, shame on me. Oh.